love it. John, what's our intention? Well, I echo what Ron said, but uh, we got we got to make this week start off well. So let's get going. Beautiful, Dave. Uh, like last week, man. New new week, new me. Let's go. <laughs> Mr. Michael Brown. Be as positive and optimistic as Dave. I love it. And Kevin. Yeah. Well, I missed what Dave said, but I, you know, if Michael said he was optimistic, then I'm all in, all in behind that. <laughs> Let's wrap it all, guys. Let's grab our cells. Let's get the base of that mat. Reach up nice and high in the sky. Touch those toes. Shift those steps side to side.
challenge us in the side hold position. Good morning, PB. What's going to happen here? We're going to take that weight. We're going to hold it right next to us, off our body. Okay? We're going to go in two groups. So group one, you're going to be with me. It's going to be John, Ron, and Dave. Group two, you're going to be with Elise, Michael, Kevin, and PV. Okay? So group one with me, group two with Elise. Group one, you guys are holding this position nice and high. Leg is up, that the weight is on. So the weight has to be off our body, okay? When it's your turn, so group one, we're gonna go dips by 10. Elise is holding, group two is holding. Then you guys are gonna do 10. We're then gonna go eight, eight, six, six, four, four, two, two. Switch to the other side. As soon as that's done, we're all going on to our back. 50 sit-ups together. As we wait for everybody to finish, we're holding the front plank. Let's get our dumbbells up. Get ourselves set. Group one, we are moving at first. Elise, group two, you're holding. Ready here. Group one, with me, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Elise, group two. Group two, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Group one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Group two. One, two, three, Hold four, in. five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, Three, four, oh, five, and that one. six. Group one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Group one, last two. One, two. One, two. Good, good size. Here we go. Group one, nice and tall. Left leg up. Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, four, find the balance. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, Use that five, four. six. Seven, eight. Use that gaze. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my God. Six. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Last two. One, Two. One, two. Great job, guys. 
Sit up, 50. On your own time, as soon as you finish, yell done, and right into that front plank. Four and five. 
One. It's two. Three. Four. Five. Run. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Dave. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Michael. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Kevin. Two. Three. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go, dumbbells down. Right into that push up position. We got ten all together. Ready? And begin. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Flip it back over. Right in. We're going forward. Ready? And dumbbells up. Hips high. One. Two. Three. And four. Five. One. Two. Three. Four. Run. One. Two. Three. Four. Eight. One, two, three, four, Michael. One, two, three, four, Kevin. One, two, Three, four, three. One, two, three, four. So you guys, it's over. We got eight. Get ourselves ready and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. That's it. Get yourselves ready. On our back. Going by three. Dumbbells up. And one. Two. And three. John. One. Two, three, run. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, Michael. <clears throat> One. Two, three, Kevin. One, 
two, three, PV. One, two, three. Nice and quick, full range of motion. One, two, three, four, five, six. Onto our back. We got two. On our back. Hips nice and high. One. And two. Drop. One. Two. Run. One. Two. Nate. One, two, Michael. One, Kevin. One, two, three. One, two. That's it, guys. Come over. Four push ups. Come on, last time through. One, two, Three, four, four. Holy chest. Here we go. Here we go. On our back. And one. John. One. Run. One. Dave. One. Michael. Seven. TV. One. Three. And again. And two. Rest it up, guys. I love it. All right. Let's grab a stability ball. If we have. We're going to go a couple different positions here. Okay, first things first. We're going to go from a uh, split stance position. Okay, this is where we'll be starting. Let's get that way. We're going to go split stance position. Rows. We're going to go 12 each side. This one's going to be completely on you guys. Okay, split stance. 12 each side, immediately, into stability ball, hamstring curl, by 12, hip thrusters, by 12, immediately, into chest press, what we just did, but two arms, by 12. There is no time frame, we are going to, we're doing them at our own pace, it's going to be five minutes continuous, as many rounds as we can. Single arm row, 12 each side, hamstring curls, 12, hip extensions, 12, chest press by 12. As many rounds as we can get through, five minutes continuous. Got that? Let's rock and roll here. Really pushing that work capacity after that big strength block. Alright, let's get ourselves set. If we do not have a stability wall, remember, just walking our feet out or we can go feet elevated on anything. Get ourselves ready here. Go in 10 seconds. Single arm rows, walk each side. Right into hamstring curls, right into hip extensions, right into presses. Two, one, begin. Push that status quo. Is 
sit straight into hamstring curls. We don't have a stability ball. We're going to walk outs. Everything is 12. Hip extensions, right the hip to the side, keep those knees bent. And we finish up, we're going to lay into chest press. We're 16 seconds in. One minute to go. And if we start guys, start again. Let's do this. Okay, guys, keep that face. Push it, don't let it fall off. Down, three to go. that showed the uh, 
relation between work capacity, so the ability to do work just like we're doing now over a long period of time, and age and longevity. And the people who had higher work capacities lived on average 13.2 years longer. So everything that we've done since day one when you guys came in, that's why we don't just do burpees for 45 minutes. Everything we do, different ranges of motion, different movements, different movement patterns with different strength capacities to increase our overall work capacity. Really, really important. So, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna take our stability ball. If we don't have a stability ball, and we just have an elevated position, and that's totally fine as well. We're gonna go 15 hip extensions on our right leg. So it looks like this. Driving the hips to the sky. 15 on the right, 15 on the left. As soon as that's done, we're grabbing those dumbbells. We're going two arm, bent over row by 15, right into RDLs by 15. Okay? Again, this is a five minute block. Okay, five minute block. 15 on the right, right leg, 15 on the left leg, 15 rows together, right into 15 RDLs. Nothing in the low back here. Absolutely nothing in the low back. The movement through the hip should all be through the hamstring and glute. The row should all be in the mid to upper back. If you feel anything in the low back, lift your stance up or squat lower. Okay? Lastly, RDLs, everything hamstring and glutes. Get ready here. Five minute block again. We got two five minute block reps. That's it. Starting on our back. Starting on our back. Single leg hip extension start. Going in 10. Here we go. We got five, four, three, two, begin. Drive those hips. That's it. 15 each leg. Thank you. 
there. Now, so you're going to go back. Hamstring and glutes. That's the focus here.
Great job. Keep this pace, guys. Okay. I know, we need to double work. I want to go back to that study and within that study they did it was an extrapolary study of over 15 years and they first started it in uh, 2005 and they looked at groups of people who just did aerobic work which is more like just biking and running for extended periods of time people who did just strength work, people who did just hit work, so like high intensity interval training, body weight work, and then people who did work capacity base, which is a blend of everything, kind of similar to what we do. And they found that the people whose mortality rate was the highest were those who just did strength work. And then second highest were those who just did hit work. Third highest was those who just did aerobic capacity, and last, was those who did uh, work capacity work. Now, the difference between the highest mortality rate and the lowest was 13.2 years. And the conclusion was that, and this goes back to our HRV, and it shows that, it shows that is based on our uh, the, the more work that we do that's work capacity based, it improves the way in which our body handles stress. And our body doesn't know the difference between mental, physical, emotional, or spiritual stress. So the more that we are ready to handle that through work capacity and longer interval based strength work, we will thus be better equipped to handle the rigors and everything else that goes on in our regular day lives. So that is why, again, what we do here is science-based, it's data-driven, it's purposeful. We're not just pulling things randomly, saying, oh, today we're gonna do this, today we're gonna do that. It all has a purpose, it all has a meaning. And it goes back to the lesson of nobody knows what you're doing, what you're putting forward, the work you're doing, other than yourself. I said that right at the end. I, I don't know that you're hitting every single rep. I don't know that you're giving everything that you got. That's what you have to stand up and prove to yourself and own to yourself every single day. Elise and I know that we put the work in 
the understanding in as to how we show up, how we program, how we provide for people on a day-to-day -day basis. Nobody would know if we just made stuff up, but there's a purpose and a reason and a rhyme to what we do. And we can live with ourselves at night because we know that we give everything that we have. And that's the same thing that everybody has to do is know that you stand up, know that you give your very best effort, know that you put forth every ounce that you have because that's just the way you do it. How you do one thing is how you do everything. And that's what I want you guys to think about going into this week. So Kevin, how are we feeling? Oh, great. Exactly energized to get me, get, get me started this week. Appreciate it. I love it. Ron. Yeah, same here. Feel great. Ready to get the week started. I love it. Dave. Yeah, you know what? Uh, new me, new Monday. Okay. <laughs> I feel great. It did, that was a good workout. I feel ready to go for the week. Awesome. PV. I feel invigorated. Thank you. Spectacular. John. Oh, John, you're on mute. See. Oh, wait, there, are we with him now? Yeah. Anyway, I'm really tied to you here with this thing, so you know whether I'm working out or not. I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. Anyway, had a good workout. Thank you. You're welcome. I love it. We got your DNA stuff, too, so we'll go over that. We'll have a party Wednesday night. Yeah, amen. Michael Brown. Great speech, Justin. Loved it. Great workout, too. My arms are on fire, buddy. I love it. Awesome, guys. Have a spectacular rest of your day, and we will see you back in New York on uh, Wednesday. What about Elise and you? Oh. Feeling good. Ready to get Elise started, right? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Ready to soak up my last final raise here, and I'll tell you what, the arms look pretty good for the beach today. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. We'll see you on Have a great day.